All right, welcome back to Brooklyn Tesla. Today we're gonna look at uh, installing Fit GDR. This app used to be called Fit Cam X, but now it's been updated to Fit DVR. Um, this is uh, going to go along with the installation of the Fit Cam X uh, that we got for the Mini Cooper. I see. Uh, so search for fit cam fit DVR on the iOS or um, Google Play Store um, from there you'll need to add the camera by connecting to the Wi-Fi of the camera itself so we already installed the camera on the previous video uh, so now we're just gonna click next and go to installation or connecting of the camera all right for the ios uh, we go to settings wi-fi and then we search for a network called car dash whatever or lhd dash whatever um now the default password is one two three four five six seven eight so one through eight in uh, numericals just uh, punch in one through eight and then hit join. From there, uh, you should be able to see it connecting with uh, probably with no internet connection. So don't be alarmed. Upon initial connection, you're not able to see the live stream. Um, that's because you still have the carrier running. Uh, you, you can uh, turn off cellular data if you want to have a live preview. Uh, but that's uh, more to come later. Let's uh, hit the back button or click on settings. And then we can take a look at some of the options. Going to max out the video resolution. That's 3840 by 2160. Uh, change camera language to English what else uh, we can also rename the Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna customize it a little bit um, make it shorter so uh, caveat here is uh, you're gonna have to reconnect the Wi-Fi uh, just uh, to ensure it connects. So there we see that the wireless has changed. Uh, click back on Car Mini Harry. Enter the same default password because we have yet to change that. Uh, you should um, for security purposes anyway. But uh, default is fine for the setup. Uh, so same thing, connect and i have yet to turn off cellular so you can always swipe down and just disable that cellular icon uh, within moments uh, it should uh, refresh but if it doesn't uh, what you could do is just click around so i'm going to look at the f camera files uh, just to give it a little refresh all right, so over here, while it loads, uh, you could see some of my files I had because I didn't take off the, uh, the blue sticker that protects the camera. Um, so make sure you go ahead and remove that. Um, so once I did that, um, you're able to see the car in front of me. Now, that is uh, pretty clear. You can see the license plate. I'm not going to redact that. Uh, so... Here we're going to do a little cleanup, just to get rid of all those uh, blue film videos. Just select a bunch of them, delete it. Transferring files is pretty easy. You just select and download. Um, there we go. A um, couple of... Uh, settings that you might want if you're going to download from wi-fi all the time uh you might want to set the loop to one minute um and not three because three for three 
uh, minutes, that's going to be around 500 megs. And going through the Wi-Fi, it's, it's quite time consuming to download. Um, so I would recommend uh, the one minute intervals. Uh, so downloading is, is around 150 megs, a little shorter. Still take you five minutes. But uh, all in all, uh, this is uh, this is the resolution. I'm gonna let it run. As you can see, there's someone walking on the right hand side. Pretty clear. Um, gotta look at the FPS settings. Uh, see how many frames there are. Um, something interesting with the Mini Cooper SC. Uh, what you want to make sure is that. Uh, while you lock your car that the camera is still gonna be on for quite a few minutes um, I think that's a Mini Cooper electric thing uh, it stays on for a couple of minutes and then it finally cuts out so don't worry it's not gonna drain <laughs> your uh, batteries um, as long as you lock up the car properly it will shut down in um, I think 60 seconds or, or 120 I'm not sure um, I'll have to take a look at that. Let's flip the video to see how it goes. Whoa, maximize. Pretty clear. Just saw that car passing by. Um, and this is uh, still the live stream. Um, not a playback, so you do get some connection jitters, if anything. So in the unboxing, uh, you did see that there was a 64 gigabit uh, micro SD card included. Um, I think that should be sufficient. Uh, one of these, th there's a quirk where when you're charging the car, technically it's on. So that's going to burn <laughs> a lot of space. So um, yeah, I don't know if you want to get bigger card uh just just for these purposes but uh otherwise uh it's a pretty decent camera um i'm gonna upload some videos uh like uh daily driving videos just just to see how uh the resolution is um if there's any jittering within those minute loops um I'll, I'll do a day and a night one just, just to get the contrast and see how well it behaves in low light. Um, yeah, but uh, all in all, I, I believe it's a decent camera. Um, it's pretty hidden and concealed and works really well with the original um, or, or comparable to the original trim. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, I like it so far. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or have something you want me to cover, please uh, leave it in the comments and I'll uh, try to do that for you guys.